I want to just to give a couple of examples again from your books, which I had no clue and this I had to write them down. So two examples. One is with Martin Luther. In his Bondage of the Will, he boasts no less than two dozen carefully chosen and subtly used references from such pagan writers as Cicero, Horace, Virgil, uh, Ovid, Homer, and, and other authors. And again, I'm quoting from your books. Another quote is that uh, Virgil's work, which is called the fourth, I don't know how to pronounce oh, it. Oh, Eclogue, the fourth Eclogue. Yeah, you said that, that his Isaiah-like celebration of the coming of a divine child uh, who would bring peace and order to the earth was interpreted by most as a pagan uh, pr uh, prophecy of Christ. I had no clue. This is this is why this is why I love that saying. Knowledge is power. It brings that my nerdy level to the extreme and brings so <laughs> much joy. If we can combine biblical theology, we can uh, combine you know anything that is out there uh, which can impact our faith. I'm so excited about these things. Um, I mean, look, we even have scholars and people who started uh, Reformation, like Luther who quoted uh you know like just like just like Paul did he quoted pagans and no one back in the days was against these things yet the atmosphere today is that everything is pagan i just need the, the bible and the holy spirit i don't need anything else you know it's so much different atmosphere in churches so that's why i appreciate our uh, work of scholars like 